What's up, Maniacs? Wednesday, June 17th, workout of the day is gonna be called speed dating, okay? We have short bursts of energy today with a little bit of rest built in. Uh, it's going to be five rounds of a two minute AMRAP. In that two minute AMRAP, you need to start with two rounds of five pushups, 10 sit-ups, 15 air squats. In the remaining time you have after finishing those two rounds, you're gonna do as many reps as possible with a barbell or a dumbbell or a kettlebell on particular movements. So again, you need to finish the two rounds of five, 10, 15 before getting to your actual score of the day where it's max reps of movements, okay? After each round, you're gonna rest one minute. So good time to recover, look at what your next movement is, and then get ready to hit it hard again. Again, it's only two minutes at a time here, so really try to push full throttle each round. Those barbell, dumbbell, kettlebell movements for max reps, first round is gonna be a power clean. Second round will be a front squat. Third round will be a hang squat clean. The fourth round will just be a clean and jerk. And then the fifth round, last but not least, is a cluster. So a squat clean into a thruster, okay? Um, and again, you're gonna be resting one minute in between each round. So the warm up of the day, you're gonna do three rounds. We got five push ups to down dog, 10 good mornings, and 10 air squats with a three second pause at the bottom of that squat. So, real quick push up to down dog. I have my solid push up position, and I'm gonna press back, open up those shoulders, and stretch out those hamstrings. Okay, so that's our push up to down dog. Good mornings. I'm gonna hinge my hips back. Keep my back nice and tight, nice and straight. Squeeze my butt at the top. Warming up those hamstrings, okay? Then we have 10 air squats with a three second pause. One, two, three, and I'm gonna stand. Okay, feel free at the bottom there. Okay, maybe wiggle around a little bit. Shift back and forth. Maybe you can hear my knees popping. Move those hips around. Getting ready to go for all the squats we got in the workout today. Okay, so going through, um, the two rounds are pretty, pretty short, pretty simple. Five push-ups, 10 sit-ups, 15 air squats. If you're gonna modify the push-up at all, maybe have it elevated, put your hands on a box or a bench, take a little bit of the body weight away. You can always do push-ups on your knees as well, okay? Sit-ups and air squats, pretty straightforward. If uh, the butterfly sit-up is pretty tough for you, go more of a straight leg sit-up. Um, that's always a way to add the hip flexor, make it a little bit easier. Okay, so the actual fun movements. Fun movements. We have power cleans first. Today I have a kettlebell with me. Coming to class today, we are gonna use a barbell, okay? Kettlebell power cleans. We're gonna go from the ground, from the ground. Bring that kettlebell up to the front rack position. Here, okay? Up to you, if you wanna alternate arms, maybe do five with your right, five with your left, whatever makes sense best for you. Front squats, um, I'm gonna challenge myself. Maybe you want to do goblet squat for a front squat, so here. Okay, if I were hitting this workout, um, good way to engage your core a little bit more, um, get more of an ab workout. You could do front squats, actual front rack position. Okay, this is gonna force you to stay a little bit tighter. Again, maybe I'll do five with my right, and then five with my left. Okay, so those are our front squats today. Hang squat cleans, this should be when the heart rate really skyrockets, okay? So I'm gonna pick it up, establish a hang, so deadlift, and now our hang squat clean. Okay, pretty dynamic movement. I'm riding that kettlebell down into a squat. Uh, clean and jerks, okay, this is also from the ground. Two-step process, right? We have our clean, just like we did in the first round, and then a press up overhead. Notice I just did a push jerk. Drop it under that kettlebell. If it's light for you, you can just do a push press. 
and engage more of just your shoulder. Okay, so clean and jerks. Last but not least, woo, clusters. Okay, squat clean thruster. Basically taking the first four movements and combining it all into one for that spicy fifth round. So cluster, I am going from the ground, squat clean, all the, way, all the way up into a press. Again, squat clean, all the way into a press, up overhead. Always returning back to the ground. Uh, depending on how you feel, maybe this is one you wanna alternate hands with. Give your arms a break. Uh, give yourself a break in between each reps. As you can hear me, probably I'm breathing very heavy now. Um, so those are your five movements. Hit it hard. It's only two minutes. Get a minute to rest. Uh, the name of it the workout is speed dating. So it should be kind of fun, right? Uh, definitely going to get sweaty. Have a good week, guys.